Hello and welcome here. Greetings from Germany. It's nice to have you with me. My name is Christoph and I wish you a happy December, the 2nd of December, the first Advent, which is something we celebrate here in Germany. And I like to use that occasion to introduce something to you, which is actually something I initiated myself many, many years ago. And it's something really exciting, but we need your help yeah, to just start off. What this is concerning, it is a uh, human rights organization. Which Thanks right. to some of the people I'm working with in Africa has registered this year in Liberia. The name of the group is HEARTS, helping African refugees to help themselves. So I wanted to show you a little bit of that. So let me actually zoom in here. But this is the group on Facebook and there, which is really interesting. And that is really what is making HEARTS so unique. I am connected with many people through regular group chats. And actually I brought people together in that spirit of love. Let me actually make this bigger here so you can see better. So this is just from today. A little bit of a chat so you get a little bit of an idea how people are really communicating and how much they appreciate the arts. Yeah, there are many people, there are countless people who are gathered together in the spirit of love and they really appreciate what the group represents. But again, what is really missing greatly is funding. And so hopefully, you know, with this, I am able to draw some attention to that. These are some of the pictures again. This is Stephen Righteous Howard, who is a motivational speaker in Liberia. And he's just completed, it says here, a, a computer training in Liberia. This is actually one of the pictures I shared, you know, to start this fundraiser. And she is one of our, our uh, persons also in Liberia, one of the few ladies who's part of the uh, welfare committee there. Alice Goba, a wonderful person. And again, these are all people who are greatly appreciative of what Harps represents. It is not really about directly helping people with money, but it's about uniting people in the spirit of love. And once people are united, we can do anything really. I like this actually, I saw this many years ago, you know, our true nationality is mankind. And then I was thinking hearts, actually, uh, part of the word hearts is earth. And then part of the word earth is art. So I was coming up with that the art of earth is hearts. And so this again is our Facebook group where we can also I'll show you we have, uh, we have 4046 members. So that's a lot. And new people are joining the group all the time. But uh, the main reason many times people come to the group and many people come to me is because they're looking for help. And so I'm always reminding people, hey, this is about you starting to help. Even though you have no money, even though you are poor, there's something you contribute. You can contribute your time, you can contribute your effort. You can start writing, you can start sharing your own thoughts about your life and your background and 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 yeah, sharing is caring. I think that's a very important concept. This here is our website, the website of Hearts. Let me also share that with you. That's hearts.webs.com where you can get some more information about that. And, and this actually on this page where it says how you can help, some of the things you can, you can do, you contribute. You can contribute your time, of course. You can join our Facebook group. You can start teaching, which is the idea that Hearts is also a school where our members actually learn what they can do to help themselves and one another. That help is not just a matter of somebody helping you, but help is something that comes from you. 
You can of course contribute a financial donation if you click here. This is our what I created here. I created that it's a, our crowdfunding campaign where you can contribute directly and the money that you can contribute goes to some of the projects I'm going to share with you here in a minute. This here at the bottom you can also for more information please click on the blog of hearts. So far I've shared information about meetings that have been taking place. For example this is a meeting we have a group now also in Uganda. One of our, our guys in, in Uganda, Victor Council, great guy and this is again here about the meeting, some pictures of the meeting that took place. Another meeting, this is a meeting that took place in Liberia. Hearts in Liberia, actually this is there in front here of our office building which is there to be renovated and we're using some of our funds for that. This is a video that was taken, this is actually the office building in Liberia which we're trying to renovate. It was made available to us by one of our members and that's really amazing but we are needing funding in order to develop that. This is actually our director speaking you know, to some of our members during this meeting and uh, as you can see there are some of our members there. Really awesome efforts that are taking place. They're really excited and really honored you know, to be part of that and to know so many wonderful people. This here is about our meeting in Ghana. Also there is a video which you can watch with some of the people there. So Hearts is really making a difference. It is really amazing but again we are needing funding. There's an orphanage we are trying to create in Liberia. A piece of land was made available to us. This is actually from that. These are the guys in Liberia. They actually have made t-shirts, Hearts t-shirts. And this is again from the project in Liberia where we are trying to create an orphanage. And this is also what we are using money for that. And again, this is again Lemuel, our director, speaking there. So, that is hearts. You know, and hearts is also the idea that the, from the love of our hearts, we create a better world. Anyway, that was it that I wanted to share with you. I hope it got you a little bit interested and, and maybe motivated you to want to help us. Again, the point is not just directly to help people with money, but the point is to help people so they can help themselves. To inspire them, to motivate them, to encourage them, to educate them, to reach their hearts so they realize even though they are poor, many of them are, are hungry, they haven't eaten in days, to them life is a struggle every day for survival. Many of our members are really sick. But still the message I always share with them is that even though you are poor, and even though you might be sick, there are still things you can do to help and that is really where it starts. As you contribute something of value, things will come back to you. So this is a very new way of thinking. Where I've come to find poverty is a mindset. Many people just believe themselves to be poor. There's nothing they can do to help and they're just looking for people to help them. But the message really of hearts is that regardless of your social status, regardless of the fact that you are poor, there are things you can do to help and it begins with the love in your heart and I think also this is a great message for this Christmas so I really appreciate if you would support us in this mission we really do need your help any donation is much appreciated even just five dollars ten dollars twenty dollars fifty dollars whatever you can do we really appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts but aside also from your monetary contribution you can help with your time, you can help with your effort to share this project with your friends, with your co-workers, with your family. You can start a material drive, you know, to, to also help us. We need notebooks, we need textbooks, we need writing materials for schools. Of course, we need laptops, camera, cameras, things like that. But for more information, to learn more, please also go to our website at hearts.webs.com where you can also learn about the beginnings of Hearts, how it all started in 2009 when I first started meeting people in Africa. This is actually the first person I ever met in Africa. I helped them start a simple business of selling drinking water and that is really actually the idea where people can learn to support themselves by starting a business so with the revenue they can support themselves. And this is one of my first, my first son who started a Photoshop on the Budaburam refugee camp. And there's much we can do, much you can do to help. Again, if you click here on where it says how you can help, you can get more information on that. And that's it for right now. I really greatly appreciate your time. I send you many, well, Christmas greetings. Uh, greetings during the seasons of love. And if you are 
care about that, if you have a good heart and you want to do something good, this would be an amazing opportunity for you to help. To help those who cannot help themselves so they can learn how they can help themselves and help each other by uniting and working together in the spirit of love. And that is what Hearts is all about. I thank you for watching and I send you my heartfelt greetings from Germany. Thank you.